Hey YouTube, it's Jess, and I want to check in with you guys. It is June 1st, Rabbit Rabbit. Um, and I wanted to say hi. It's been a few months, sorry, since I've checked in with you guys. Life has just been really crazy, and I haven't had the gumption to bust out the laptop. But, doing a video for you now. Um, things are good. I'm just busy, and getting Samantha, you know, ready for kindergarten testing in June, and then um, getting Caitlin to and from doctor appointments and therapies and managing that schedule and trying to find some time for myself. It's just been really rough. Um, yeah, I mean, things have just changed so drastically since her heart surgery, and it's great. I'm really happy that she's doing so well, but it's just on top of having like a normal baby, which is time consuming, and you factor in all the medical stuff, and it's just tough. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's worthwhile. I know that this is just a short term issue, and that, you know, in a few years we'll be past this, but it definitely, um, definitely rough. A lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, and there's a lot of good, you know, like, she's almost crawling, which is amazing, you know, but there's a lot of bad, like, I'm having to fight to get her speech therapy. She's 19 months old and sort of has three words that she uses sometimes and two words that are kind of emerging so it's um not adequate a 19 month old should have like 10 words and um <clears throat> at least be putting like two words together like mama want or you know more please more milk or more food or you know and it's hard for her because she doesn't eat by mouth yet completely so she doesn't know to ask for like more puffs or whatever but we have to try to do like all of this you know she just started eating puffs little Gerber puffs so I'm really excited about that because um there's like baby steps we're getting there she got a piece of zucchini in her mouth and sat there and she chomped it a little bit but she didn't try to swallow it so We'll get there, though. Little baby steps. Little baby steps. Um, but, yeah. So, not been going on. And I had to stop belly dancing because it just was very stressful to try to make it on time. Jared was working late a couple of Wednesdays, so I missed those. And then, um just trying to catch up. It was just stressful. It's at an awful freaking time. Who has class at 6 o'clock in the evening? Like, who does that? Like, have it later? Or have it earlier? I don't know. It was just annoying and stressful. And I couldn't get there in time. And then Jared would make it extra stressful. Are we eating before? Are we going to eat after? What's for dinner? When are you going to be back? What time is class over? Are you leaving yet? What? <laughs> ridiculous so I just stopped going I find in my life it's easier for me to just cut stuff out than um, try to make it work so I've sacrificed a lot and it's kind of sucked recently because when I think about stuff I do for me I've really cut out like everything I don't even get my pedicures anymore I've done my own toes for like the past I don't know like four months now, just because I can't seem to justify spending the $30 and then taking the time to go. Um, I mean, getting my hair cut has been it, but then the past two times I've taken Samantha, so I don't know. It's, it's okay. It, it's okay. I'm very grateful that I'm alive. So I gotta look at it like that. There is a lot of people who you know, don't have half of what I've got. So, 
you know, it's just crazy. I got sick with um, what I think is gallbladder issues um, and had a really start eating organic. I had been treating my body like horribly. I was eating junk food and Starbucks every day and it was not pretty. It was not pretty. I was up to 228 weight wise and now I'm back down to 218 so I lost 10 pounds in like the four days I was sick and I've kept it off so that's good. But it just, I don't know, it's just tough when you want to um, try to do something but then your brain's like, eh. <laughs> And maybe it's just a coping mechanism for me. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't have the answers. Someone told me I should get on medication, but it helps cope. And I'm like, the only way a medication could help me cope is if I took the pill and it magically made all my dishes done or did all the laundry for me or, you know, I don't know. I just... There needs to be more of me to go around and there isn't, but a pill isn't going to make me duplicate, you know, so there won't be two of me floating around here doing everything. It'll just make me not care as much and kind of like having my feelings. Even when they're dark sometimes, I feel like they're necessary. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. I have not been back to the gym. I need to get back, though. I want to start training for the retro run. Again in December, they should be coming back, and I want to start training again for the Dirty Girl in February. I want to try to do it in under an hour next year. So I'm thinking if I plow through and I run in between each um, obstacle, I should be able to do it in under an hour next year. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, um, I hope everybody out there is doing great. I don't really have a lot of time to like fart around on YouTube too much, but I'm going to try to check out everybody's videos. I'm curious how everybody's been doing. I'm sure you're all doing great. Um, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to pop on real fast while I had a minute and say hi. So, hi, and I will see you guys later.